You're most likely going to start a research project with a general idea that is broad in scope, like tattoos. Starting your research at this point may seem like the thing to do, since you're bound to find a lot of sources on that topic, right? But could there be too much information? And why shouldn't you start research with such a broad topic? Take a look. If I search for tattoos in the library's Discover search, I'm getting books on tattoos and philosophy, videos about tattoo artists, murder mysteries, historical biographies, and business books that just happen to have the word tattoo in them. This is too much information to filter through and most of it likely isn't relevant or helpful to the research and assignment you're working on. So, broad initial topics that you brainstorm are often too broad for a single research project and you'll need to think critically to narrow your focus. How do you go about focusing your topic? Here are some ways to help break down your initial idea and develop a more specific and focused research idea or question. First, consider collecting general background information about your topic to identify anything specific that stands out or interests you. Do a Google search, talk to your instructor, or talk to a classmate to gather ideas. You can also ask yourself the five W's, the who, what, when, where, and why of your topic. The background information you've collected on your topic will often help you address these questions. Who refers to the demographic or entity that your broad idea relates to? Is there a particular group or groups focused around this idea? For example, teenagers, men, residents of Georgia, etc. What involves the aspects, elements, or events that impact the who? when relates to time frame. Is this a current issue or is there a historical context? Where asks where the issue is happening. Is the issue happening everywhere? Would it help to compare two locations? Or should you focus on a specific area like Metro Atlanta? Why or how is not always a part of the research question but answers why the research might be interesting within the scope of the assignment. Take our initial idea, tattoo. Possible groups you could focus on might include sailors, teenagers, young professionals, etc. The different groups you identify will influence your answers to the remaining questions. For example, a few answers for what could be workplace environment, dress codes, self-expression, and so forth. Another option for defining your research question is to use a mind map to collect and connect your ideas. A mind map is a visual representation that includes a central idea and surrounding related and supporting topics. Using a mind map along with the five W's can help you facilitate connections and organize your ideas. All mind maps start with an initial broad idea. Then you can create branches, as many as you need, that represent connecting ideas. So in our example, tattoos is our broad initial topic. Subtopics related to tattoos might include health, employment, and self-expression. These subtopics surround our broad, broad topic like satellites. Going further, subtopics related to health might include personal health, mastectomy tattoos, allergic reactions, and infection. Subtopics related to employment might include professionalism, dress codes, workplace expectations, and employment rates. Finally, self-expression subtopics might include identity, self-esteem, and social branding. The goal when brainstorming is to focus and incorporate these ideas into a focused thesis statement, question, or research idea. Understand that not all of these ideas you identify while brainstorming will make it into your focused research topic. 
For example, your final topic after using the five W's and creating a mind map might be, do strict employee dress codes inhibit self-expression? Or can tattoos have a negative impact on getting hired?